Okay, so as you all know, I mentioned before that Shandon has asked for 10 days of Halloween, 10 days of Thanksgiving, and 10 days of Christmas because he doesn't really remember having those things because he's been really sick. So our house, I don't know if you noticed in my videos, there's been like stuff floating around outside and, and uh, things hanging that look kind of funny. That's his Halloween decoration, so um, we're going to be taking those down tomorrow for our Thanksgiving. So right here we have a sign that he wrote. This is warning poisonous hazardous plants. I don't know if you can see that. And then in the aquaponics, he has these. Uh, those are his timers he put out here. And then, let's see, in here he has this set up. And all this science, this is like a mad scientist station he has set up with eyeballs. Because he's a mad scientist. <laughs> and then... Let's go over here and I'll show you his pumpkin and where he has set up. Hold on, let's show you his pumpkin. So it's kind of darker over here, but he has he has his bear set up on a cat thing with um his scary stuff here and then he has his pumpkin. Bit wants me to do a little tour, so that's what we're doing. And then we outside is the the scariest. Outside's bits. This is the scariest he has set up. This is his slaughterhouse. So I'll show you his slaughterhouse, and this is what is in the background of my videos. Uh, it's not trash. It's Shandon's decorations. So let's see. So. He has old, these old shredded, shredded material to make it look like ghosts. That's his ghost hanging up. This is his graveyard he put right here of bicycles. And then, let's see, oh. This is where we usually process our animals, but he, it needs to be clean, but this is his like meat. So this is his slaughter meat. <laughs> He's so inventive and artsy. But he made all these last year. And that's, uh, let's focus. This is his dangling knives in the wind right here. He made all this stuff last year before he got sick. And he just doesn't remember. So we had, I saved them all. And I was able to put them back up for him. So, um, he didn't... These are old decorations that he made last year. He's not able to make them right now. But, um, since he's been sick, but I'm glad I saved them for him. Oh, and here's more. Um, here's his bones right here on this table with his floating ghosts. And here's his other bones and his axe. And this is the old chainsaw he put down with our chainsaw that doesn't work. Both of them don't work. <laughs> One's just really, really old. And then this one was is new but doesn't work. But anyways, he's got our, this is our chicken uh, cone. So when we slaughter ducks and chickens, you put them in there upside down. But that's the hang there and that's his meat that he painted and those are bones that are hanging out. He's such an artist, my goodness. This is his Halloween setup, more floating ghosts. What bit, what do you want to show? No, you don't want to show anymore? That chainsaw was there. Oh, the chainsaw wasn't there. We gotta move this chainsaw. He says it wasn't there. Put it right here. Okay. All right. So, anyways, hold on. Let me show them. All right, bit. 
So what else are we going to show them? Um, oh, let's show them this hanging thing right here. You want to show them that hanging thing right there? Right, let's see. This is his, another piece of meat that he's hanging up. And then he has a scare, he has crosses that are, he put crosses out here in the field and then the, this is a graveyard, but the weeds sucked him under. Oh, there's a few of them over here. There's his crosses, there they are. Those is his graveyard crosses. So he made that place look super scary. And then, let's see. Oh, this is his scarecrow right here. That He made this last year too. He, uh, uh, get out of the way. He made that scarecrow last year and I kept it up for him. I haven't taken it down. So he loves Halloween. That's his favorite holiday. And we've been, it was more like 20 days of Halloween than we've had. So now we're done and we're going to be cleaning that up and then we're going to do a Thanksgiving this weekend. So you might see me cooking some Thanksgiving meals in the, in the end of May. <laughs> so my daughter's birthday's coming up. Um, we'll have a, a mix of Thanksgiving birthday dinner. So for her, even though she won't be here to eat it. <laughs> Um, because she's in grad school. So, and then my oldest son is in the military, and so he's deployed right now, and he won't be here. He's a Marine. But it'd be us, and we have a good Hi, time. Coach Magain, do something. Come on. What? What do you want to do? I like right going to fix some of the stuff for me. The mask? It's in the house. You want me to go get it? Okay. All right, but I'm gonna go get your mask for your uh, scarecrow. We'll go get it right now. So, anyways, we're gonna start a Thanksgiving this weekend. That's fun, and we'll be putting all these Halloween decorations up tomorrow. We even have it on the aquaponics floor. These are ghosts. See, ghosts. Those are supposed to be ghosts. The feed bags are ghosts. <laughs> So we're gonna clean all that up. Okay, can't wait. We're gonna be busy cleaning up the Halloween stuff. That's a chore in itself, goodness gracious. Um, and then we'll start doing our Thanksgiving and cooking. And I'll probably I'll do some cooking things. Maybe some canning in between. <laughs> I have I still got a lot of stuff to do. I just film what I need to do as I need to do it. And uh, I do need to can a couple things. So we'll do that in between my Thanksgiving uh, preparations for Shandon's giving. Shandon's Thanksgiving, little bit's Thanksgiving. So we're going to try to do Thanksgiving at least. Shandon um, is going to have to go to the doctors for um, a procedure. Um, hopefully, that infusion I was talking about. So we don't know when though, and it could be any time. So our plan is to have, you know, to start cooking, but we might end up having to do it after we go to the doctor. So I'm super excited to be moving on to another holiday here. <laughs> um, as you just heard, Shandon, is speaking and if you don't know he lost the ability to actually talk for over eight months he hasn't been able to speak and now he has he blinks a lot to get the words out but um he'll sporadically have a sentence now and then and that it's it sounds like he's yelling but he's not it's just enforcing words out so i'm really excited about that and every day he just um, a little bit more and more so hopefully we can regain that fully, but in the meantime, I'm happy with a few words here and there. <laughs> it's better than nothing. So we're going to go inside and watch some movies, because that's what we do when we want to relax. And Shandon loves his movies. 
So, and especially Thanksgiving. That's a tradition. Gotta have a movie time at Thanksgiving for us. <laughs> All right, and so Shandon, for the most part, has sign language. He uses sign language to communicate. His own sign language, that is. And... <laughs> So, yeah, if you see him not talking, he just doesn't talk. And then that's his sign language because he can't talk. So, he can now, a few words here and there. But, for the most part, he's learned to communicate with his own little sign language. So, he wants, Shandon wants his drink. So, Shandon wants his drink. And he, he wants us to get ready to watch a movie. Yep. Yes, now he's got to walk his line, a straight line, before we go sit down. Okie dokie, we're going to go sit down. We're going to go sit down, turn a movie on, and have popcorn. Oh, oh, do we have popcorn? I don't know. All right, we're done. <laughs> Talk to you later.